Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar. Now if I told you not to search something up on the internet, well, you're probably opening another tab and going through with it. So let's rip the band-aid right off. What we're about to talk about today is nothing necessarily new. It's actually a deeper dive into what is in fact some of the weirdest searches that you can do on here on YouTube. Now, ladies and gentlemen, months ago, I want to say around seven, I did a video titled Full Stop Punctuation, or I think it was something around there. Now, when I looked up Full Stop Punctuation, you can do this for yourself right now. If you go to YouTube search engine right now and just put in a period, all right, and hit enter, you'll find some really wild results. In a lot of cases, you'll find videos that appear to have really creepy thumbnails, and of course, in some cases, all right, it just gets even wilder. Now, again, I don't want you to scroll too hard into it, because sometimes you'll come across some really creepy thumbnails of actual gore footage. And that's not something I can show you on YouTube. So we're going to have to stop right there. Now, even beyond all of it, there's been other rabbit holes with similar veins. Now, this isn't similar to things like, you know, the watch rabbit hole we looked into. This is purely related to the search system. Now, one of the newest searches that have been sort of popping up in the last two weeks that I've been asked to look into and I've seen around on TikTok and various other social media services is the uh, all right? Now, if you haven't looked at this letter uh, all right, which is effectively an O with a strike through it, we'll actually look into the whole etymology of the language real quickly. The O with the slash is popular in languages such as Danish, such as Norwegian, a lot of Southern Sami languages, and of course, the general sound is like this. Let's listen to it close. Yeah, if we can actually listen to it real quick, let me fire up the uh, old headset over here. We don't really need audio, but if you listen to it, Ooh. it sounds Ooh. all right. So that's the actual pronunciation. Now, again, I'm not a lingual expert, so I really wouldn't know why you would use this versus the standard O, and I'm not going to get into it that far. What's important in our little case is actually typing this into YouTube like so. Now, as soon as you enter this into the search field, you'll find some really, really dark stuff. Now, a lot of these thumbnails I have had to censor because while a lot of these videos are just sort of edgy art projects that you would find on the dark web or some deep corner of the internet, the actual thumbnails involved do stem from actual snuff pornography, actual gore footage. And that's not something that I can show you on the internet. Some of the actual thumbnails, for instance, have been taken out of like places like Narco Footage, for instance, which if you don't know the subreddit, it exists like many other subreddits where uh, they actually catalog the social media profiles of Mexican cartel members. And again, for YouTube's sake, we're not trying to promote any of these people. These are bad individuals. But of course, some of the terrible things they do, such as interrogations and straight up killings, that constantly gets cataloged all over social media. A lot of places you find it is Instagram, TikTok. It's kind of a recruitment drive for these sickos in order to get newer blood into their illegal empires. So of course, taking some of their footage and throwing it all over the internet, that's one of the sources, okay? This is just one source that catalogs that information. All of this decrepit stuff is on the clear net in many parts of social media. So again, going back to uh, for instance, you can find that there's plenty of titles, but one of them that stands out the most is this string of characters. Now, if you actually look through these titles, you'll see that the string is oftentimes repeated. It starts off with o dot o, usu, o, copyright, and then dot dot dot. And of course, you can see the similarities going down. This is how this letter uh, all right, ends up taking over, you know, the YouTube search algorithm with creepy results. It's just a psyop by a bunch of edgy people to do it, okay? There's no greater secret. There's no rabbit hole to really go down, rather, that all the way ends up in some crazy, creepy conspiracy, okay? At the end of the day, I'm just trying to demystify some of it. So I guess for argument's sake, we're going to actually click on some of these, like, darker videos and sort of see what they actually are. Now, this one from the Bangladesh man, all right, who has a total of 664 subscribers, this video has reached half a million views, and it was uploaded July of 2021. The description is, care more about skinny legs, went crazy. Now that I removed the sensor, some of you watching my channel may recognize this immediately. Yeah, it's blankroomsoup.avi. All right, this is the creepy footage that they wanted to talk about. The old Ray Ray suits walking up to this man eating, eating what appears to be noodles with a comically large spoon. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, is this necessarily real and scary? Uh, not, not necessarily. It's creepy, it's unnerving, but this is not something that's found and taken off of the dark web. And this is, these are not creepy individuals who are forcing this person to eat food. This is a, uh, interesting comedic, uh, hole to go down, rather, is all I'm gonna say. 
Even the comment sections to these videos are oftentimes completely comical, with comments such as, how it feels eating school food. I, I, I agree, I totally get that. That's not even comical, that's just the truth. Shoddy's like a melody in my head. Thing that I can't keep out. Got me singing like na 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 every day. I feel like I'm supposed to know this song, but I'm too old for this shit. Ooh, this one, this one is a little fucked up. This is not on the same title as you can see, uploaded five months ago with less than 500 views. And holy crap, this is actually one of the more unnerving videos in this rabbit hole to get down. It's just somebody peeking around, looking into the camera as the camera has a warp filter applied to it. And of course, it's three minutes of wild footage, okay? So for instance, you've got content like this, person staring right back at you. Oh. That actually, the sudden movements in these videos definitely freak me out a lot more. How did I end up on this godforsaken part of YouTube? That's a good question. You typed in uh when you probably shouldn't have. Of course, one of my personal favorites is the same title, although with the words terror and a bunch of Arabic added to the end of it with a nice winky emoji face. Now this one comes from Brazilian Horror Story with 1,803 or 30 subscribers. Now, of course, in the comment sections, uh, they're, they're definitely saying this is a certified hood classic. So let's actually watch this one real quick. It starts off with what appears to be one of the characters from Netflix's show Money Heist with a bag over their head, as they're also wearing a mask. As that mask seems to be removed. This person's also got something. This is something out of, like, normal porn for normal people. And, of course, this person's so visibly scared of the situation. Now, of course, what's going to happen is they're going to come up. They're going to they're going to rip that, I guess, uh, gag off of them, which really didn't make any sense because the mask wouldn't have done anything. And of course, it's that's where this whole story kind of ends. If you, if you seek into it, they, they bring what appears to be like a vibrator tool. And uh, that that's pretty much it. That that's the horror story. It is a comical horror story. And that's pretty much where it ends. Now again, ladies and gentlemen, the way that this also works is anybody, anytime, can start an operation like this and creep the fuck out of individuals on the internet. But to further demystify this, there's a lot of words in the Unicode alphabet. The Unicode system is what we use to basically create interoperable fonts and frameworks between multiple systems, just to put it very lightly, okay? Now, of course, you'll notice common multi Unicode characters like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all right? alphabets from the English language. But of course, there's tons of actual other uh, pieces of Unicode that exist to cover special characters for other languages. Now, we've already looked at uh with the O struck through it, but if you actually look around, there's multiple characters, like for instance, the Latin cal capital letter oi, okay? So all we need to do is just copy this. We can literally go right back to YouTube, all right, drop that in there and find other random rabbit holes to go down into. Now, these aren't necessarily as nefarious as one would think, but as you can see, it's cataloging anybody that has put that character into their title, okay? So you'll see a bunch of random footage. You'll see music, you'll see PUBG Mobile gameplay, somebody's playing Black Ops 1, you can see like 18 minutes of the campaign if you felt like it. And of course, that's pretty much how it goes. And same thing with other things. I took this H looking letter and I found some other creepy videos down to it. All right, that's pretty much just how this whole thing works. I found a whole channel dedicated around like Japanese calligraphy and like making weird images and whatnot. That's, it, there's so much to go down when it comes to all the content that's been uploaded onto YouTube. There's tens of thousands of hours of footage uploaded. A lot of it doesn't get watched. A lot of it gets titled like this, and a lot of it just stays on YouTube servers waiting to be uncovered by the next bored individual. I wouldn't be surprised if I took the small letter O with diuresis, all right, or di di diarrhea, I don't know, and just drop that in there and would find some other random stuff tossed into it, okay? Not all these rabbit holes are necessarily going to be dark, but a lot of these rabbit holes oftentimes get overtaken by some sort of op, whether it be from like 4chan, Reddit, some bored Discord users, all uploading creepy footage, all titled the same, and taking over YouTube search rankings. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, today we wanted to demystify a creepy YouTube rabbit hole. And also, we could have watched some creepy videos, which we just have. Now, none of these videos necessarily violate YouTube's terms of services. Again, may I remind you, some of these videos do consist of actual snuff footage. Uh, 
in their thumbnails, snuff like thumbnails to be precise, okay? Actual gore footage, dead bodies. Deca I saw one where like a dude was getting decapitated in the search ranking. And that's something that YouTube is going to have to look into to stop. Some of the weird thumbnails do definitely exist. So if you do search this and come across that, you have actually been warned, okay? So again, I'm just putting that out there. I'm protecting myself in all forms of legal, okay? I'm disclaiming everything out there. Like I said in the beginning, don't search this because it's overtaken by a bunch of edgy art projects. And in some cases, you can at least, in my experience, see some actual snuff footage yourself too. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.